Hello and welcome to another edition of the Vale Daily News Blender, ValeDaily.com News Blender. Big news week here in yeah, good news. Upper Eagle County. Uh, what, what was the good news? You, There's some guy and he wants to start a ski resort. A private one. A I private remember. ski resort Not... and uh, 1,700 units and golf courses and probably some helicopter pads and... Uh, Submarine park. Yeah, there's, uh, maybe even some miniature golf in there as I well. I think a minor league baseball team. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the town of Minturn voted, or the, the town council had voted to annex the land that he wants to build it on, and the uh, voters reaffirmed that decision, which kind of clears the way for the now for the negotiating and all the de hammering out all the details, like how many. Yep where the homes will go and some some It's going to be a long planning process. Yeah, some toxic waste cleanup from the old mines and how many uh, elk will be able to migrate through the through the area. I don't know if there'll be restrictions or, or what. There's you know always some concerns. Anytime you build in the mountains about wildlife, right. developer says don't worry about it. Some bird watchers say worry about it. <laughs> There's the water issue, yep. same thing. Developer says we got the water. A lot of other groups say I don't know about that. So. You never know who to believe. Who do you believe? I don't know who to believe anymore. No, I don't know. Well, it's happening one way or another. And then the other I mean, I mean, yeah, bit of news is Down Valley and yeah. Walcott. Yeah, well, well, that's sort of Mid Valley. That's sort of mid -valley. in between Up Valley yeah. and Down Valley. Mid Valley. Since not many people live there. And this is a little bit more useful information for locals, anyway, that there's going to be. Uh, What's his name? Rick Hermes. Rick Hermes, cool name. Yeah. Uh, has uh, struck a deal with Juf the Jufless family, also a cool name. Right. Um, <laughs> which owns a lot of the land, uh, especially along I seventy there, to start building. And it seems like a logical place to. We think land. so. We're we not Birkenstock so. wearing tree huggers, nor are we right wing maniacs. We're sort of in the middle <laughs> on development. We're sort of liberal capitalists, I think. Right, but um, you certainly need more worker housing, and it's it's. You, you need all kinds. You couldn't of look at that bit of land around I seventy and say it's this pristine open space. No, it's right next to a free, a major cross country freeway. So well, that's my concern: is that is that the houses will be right next to the interstate, and well, little Johnny's going to be out there, and but hopefully the. So there's enough room that well you're allowed to enough. you're allowed to put poor people next to the highway oh, you know, that's it's okay. right. laborers can live right like i don't know why we haven't looked at the medians i mean there's plenty of space elevated sure shotgun i mean you know if you're tenements. poor no you know you should be able to deal with a little noise for your slice of the american dream that's but right. i mean i think you need all kinds of housing here in eagle county you need um for the workers for for middle class professionals and for the wealthy you gotta have and housing the, for the billionaire And, uh, you know, the allegedly cool thing about it is that with a brand new piece of land, you can kind of look at it all and kind of master. And it's kind of a kind of a master clunky plan. term, but it master plan. It's like you look at Avon and you're like, Someone you know, wasn't thinking it's like seven lunatics now. came along and all <laughs> planned it separately. But, yeah. you know, here you, you can, can get a little pleasant villa if it's master plan, but it also yeah, but could you, work better. You know, too. you can know where there's going to be a grocery store so people can walk there and parks and some useful shops. Um, Humane Society. What's going on with the Humane Society? I have no idea, but wasn't there some other bigger news we wanted to talk about? Humane Society, I guess, is getting kicked out of their office. We're, we're working on that story, so that's all I know at the moment. If you're concerned about animals, pets, you're going to want to know about this. Yeah, I don't know. What's what was the other big story? Before? Vail Resorts Energy. Oh, the wind power and So on the uh, one hand, um, you know, Vail Resorts has been thinking about building wind turbines up at the top of the mountain. At first it was real big ones. Yeah, and then they, they shrunk them down. And, them and an energy expert says that really could power a couple of light bulbs. Not but they all came out with, with this 10%. On the same day, coincidentally. Yes. They, Which is actually a, a pretty Our story appeared on the website. Then there was suddenly Vail Resorts' energy layoffs, they're calling it. The Something cut. all businesses should do. We should do it. I heard we were How trying to increase energy use by 20% <laughs> by uh, just leaving the lights on at all times, leaving right. all computers on. Energy, how would we reduce energy here at the Vale Daily? Um, we could turn the, our computers off at night. Yeah, we could stop firing all those cannons, at, you know, fire our cannons every day at five. Yeah, because the powder comes from China and it's a big carbon Yeah, footprint they get there. driven all the way from Los Angeles. And yeah. so, yeah. We could... Um, Stop printing the paper. Yeah, just, just go just, online. Just the website. 
I bet advertisers don't want to hear that, so ignore it. That's not serious. <laughs> that was a total joke. Well, it's Memorial we Day weekend. We haven't at all thought about it. Uh, <laughs> Have a great time out there. Hopefully it's uh, nice weather. It's not going to snow. I was caught in snow at the tunnel last night coming home from, <laughs> from Denver. Hey, I remember back in 73 it snowed in uh, on August 1st, so stop whining. All right. Have a great weekend.